privilege for me to be in this beautiful land of Madiba, especially when we are all celebrating his birth anniversary. Ours is a big global family. Coexistence and shared destiny are our common beliefs. I'm confident that the visions of our great leaders such as Gandhi, Mandela and Martin Luther will continue to guide us in our common endeavors. Excellencies, the BRICS had begun with the Foreign Minister's customary meeting on UNGA margins in 2006. Ever since, we have had productive exchanges on the margins of UNGA in taking stock of global political affairs. I commend South Africa for convening the second standalone meeting of BRICS Foreign Ministers. I'm confident our deliberations here will contribute towards enriching intra-BRICS cooperation further. Excellencies, our meeting today takes place at a time when multilateralism, international trade, and rules-based world order face strong headwinds. Though the global growth has exhibited signs of recovery, the challenges to long-term growth continue to persist. Ensuring that the benefits of globalization are shared widely remains our challenge. BRICS countries have contributed to global stability and growth in a world drifting towards uncertainty. We have played an important role in shaping the global economic and political architecture. Excellencies, BRICS cooperation has since expanded substantially in political, economic, and security spheres. Our leaders meet twice each year at summit level. BRICS NSA's mechanism has consolidated our cooperation in counterterrorism and security domain. BRICS special envoys are shortly expected to convene a meeting to deliberate on the situation in the Middle East. Excellencies, during Goa BRICS summit, we had laid special emphasis in strengthening people's dimension of BRICS. I'm happy to note the initiatives during India's chairmanship on films, sports, youth, and traditional medicine have taken firm roots. Excellencies, BRICS leaders gave us a robust mandate on counter-terrorism at the Shaman BRICS Summit. PM Modi had given a call for a BRICS counter-terrorism strategy for joint action with a focus on money laundering, terrorist finance, cyberspace, and de-radicalization as our priorities. Our leaders have also called for making UN Charter terrorism framework efficient and effective. We reiterate our commitment to implement our leaders' mandate on counter-terrorism under South Africa's BRICS chairmanship. BRICS cooperation in strategic areas of security, counter-terrorism, UN reforms, peacekeeping, de-radicalization, cyber security, energy security, global governance, and international and regional hotspot issues are deliberated in detail during our NSA's meetings. It is imperative now that the common ground reached in our NSA's meeting on setting up a BRICS security forum is implemented fully. Excellencies, in less than two months from now, our leaders will meet in Johannesburg for the 10th BRICS summit. Our deliberations today are therefore significant in preparing the groundwork for a successful Johannesburg BRICS summit. India welcomes South Africa's summit theme devoted to development in Africa in an inclusive manner. We also welcome the focus on technology as the engine of future growth and its significance for future generations and their employment prospects. Madam Chair, I thank South Africa for tabling the proposals on tourism, medicines, governance, and science park network. Yoga and Ayurveda system of India's traditional medicines will make BRICS tourism endeavors even more attractive. The new development bank and the contingent reserve arrangements are flagship BRICS initiatives. 
we must consolidate their functioning further and optimize their outcomes. Excellencies, India attaches importance to the role of BRICS in consolidating intra-BRICS cooperation and in international affairs. I am more than confident under South Africa's able chairship, this initiative will be carried to new heights. Thank you, Madam Chairman.